What's up guys? Welcome to day three of your Carve Your Core Challenge. Hope you guys are crushing it. I've been seeing all of your posts and loving them, so keep them coming. Um, hopefully you are feeling a little tighter, like you kind of have the grasp on what we're working towards every day. Like I said, we're gonna step up, we're gonna elevate. So today I just wanna give you a brief summary of the different planes in your body and how your core needs to be worked in all different planes. A lot of times that sagittal plane is the only plane that forward, the flexion and extension, backwards motion is a lot of what traditional core movements will train. So we're going to work three different planes today. We're going to work on that. I do want you to make sure you have a towel. We will be using that. Um, but let's get back to the three different planes in your body. So first one is that sagittal plane. So that front, that back, we will work that um, just because flexion and extension is healthy. You use flexion when you reach down to pick something up. Most of the time um, you use extension if you're kind of reaching in the back seat to give your kid, um, you know, a snack. So that's kind of how the sagittal plane works. The frontal plane, is your kind of lateral movement. So a lateral raise, um, a side bend, a side plank, a lateral lunge, that's gonna work your frontal plane. And then last one is we have the transverse plane. So that's basically the 360 degree circle around your body. So twisting this way, twisting this way, you see a friend over to the left, you twist and you wave to them. That's gonna be your transverse plane. So we're gonna make sure to hit all those different planes because when you're just working in one way or the other and then you go to do something like this and your body's like, whoa, I haven't trained effectively that way, um, that's where you're prone to injury. So we wanna make sure when we are doing any core workouts to really functionally train the core in all three planes. So you guys ready to get to it? Let's go. All right, so go ahead and let lie down on your mat. We're gonna start again with that TV, a breathing exercise, but this time we're gonna add the push press. So go ahead, bring the knees over the hips. From here, I want you to place your hands on the top of your thighs. Draw the shoulders down the back. I want you to take that big inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, tip the, t the tail under. Pull the belly towards the mat, pull the low abs toward the mat. Now hold this. As you continue to exhale, I want you to push into the tops of the thighs. So let's try that one more time. Inhale, exhale, tip everything in, pull everything in nice and tight. Press the hands into the thighs. Try to pull the knees back by your head. You should feel this shakiness. Now inhale, keep that press. Exhale, keep pulling the low abs in. I am shaking like a leaf right now. Give me one more inhale. You should only feel the diaphragm expand. Exhale, let it all out. All right, beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. We're going into wheelbarrow walkout. So we're still working that sagittal plane. We're gonna go into a straight arm plank. So placing those hands underneath Good, press away, engage your chest, lift the rib cage, tuck the tail, squeeze the glutes right here. You're gonna walk your hands out in front of you as far as you can, feeling those abs lengthen, the sides of the waist lengthen, the obliques start to pull in, and then walk your hands right back in underneath you. We're gonna add a pike to plank. So you're gonna start to walk the toes, squeeze the inner thighs like you have a mermaid tail. You're gonna press into the palms, round, round, round the spine, find slight flexion, here, once you're at your highest, you feel your low abs lose engagement, you're gonna walk it right back out. Good, finding that high plank, re-engage, rotate those elbows inward. Now go ahead and walk the hands back out. Goal here is to keep the hips stable without rocking, walk them right back in. Whew, keep that belly engaged. Good, now start to walk the toes up. Blow out that air, keep the shoulders right above the wrists. Good. TA engaged, walk it right back out. Staying here, you guys got it. We're going into a standing Superman in four, three, two, and a one. Okay, friends, so we're going into something called a standing Superman. 
This is going to work some unilateral work, anti-rotational move as well. So your opposite abs have to fight to keep your hips from opening up. So you're going to plant that right foot. You're going to slowly start to hinge over, stacking the knee over the ankle. As you hinge over, release the left toes long behind you and stretch the arms out wide in that lateral position. Squeeze the back together, find slight extension through the spine, gazes at the floor. Slowly lower it down, toes on the back leg are going to tap that heel. And now slowly, slowly hinge it forward. Good. So squeeze that upper back. Good. Bring it right back down. So you should feel a slight extension through the spine here but that opposite oblique that right oblique is really fighting to keep your hips from opening up here good breathe 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 squeeze good now once you got that movement once you feel your balance here you're gonna start to speed it up so squeeze lower down squeeze lower down trying to get your torso parallel to the floor give me two more we're going to switch over to that left side in three two and one whoo all right shake it out left side go ahead and start to hinge it forward good nice and slow find your balance here at your furthest point notice if your back is arching it should be slightly arching but tuck that tail and then go ahead and stand it upright back foot go ahead and flex it i want you to imagine you're shooting energy out that back heel and the crown of your head here as you hinge forward again really think about pulling shoulder blades together finding slight extension through the spine bring it right back down nice and slow once you have your balance go ahead and speed it up so it's big power here and stability here so you're stabilizing both sides of your body are working to keep you from tipping over squeeze beautiful squeeze Whew. if you lose your balance that's okay if you're just teaching your body doesn't mean you're bad at something or you're weak might mean you're weak you just need to work on it three two give me one more beautiful all right we are coming down Okay, go ahead, grab that beautiful dish rag or dish towel. You're going to go ahead and sit on that tailbone, place the heels on the floor out in front of you. From here, I want you to reach that towel out, give it a nice tug so it's taut. You feel the it's serratus anterior, this guy. Engage, draw the shoulders down the back, hinge backwards. Again, find that TA, so tuck the tail slightly. Pull the abs in nice and tight. From here, you're going to start to rotate, keeping your arms long, feeling the right side oblique. So the opposite side, we're rotating. It is fighting to help you rotate, to help you initiate this move. Bring it back center, and now rotate back the other side. So we are working that transverse plane. <sighs> Keep those arms stick straight here. Good. Torso should not be flexing rounding forward keep that chest popped open breathe exhale pull everything in tighter good inhale bring back center give me one more set keep pulling on that towel rotate good feel the left oblique this time take it all the way over to the right three two one awesome go ahead drop that towel we're gonna find your straight arm plank nice and strong again shoulders right over those elbows tuck the tail press the rib gauge away from the floor from here we're going to go into a row a row with a side sexy spider so if this is challenging take it to your knees again you can still have that ta engagement by tucking the tail squeezing the glutes find the engagement here you're just gonna drive it up drive it up knee in knee in otherwise full range of motion in three two and one go ahead get into it so right here if you need to take a wider stance that will give you more stability more support drive your right out left elbow in drive your right elbow in good and now bring that left thigh parallel to the floor bring it in towards your elbow feel the obliques replace it bring that right knee to the right elbow replace it when you are doing your rows your hips want to open yes 
Do not let them open. Fight through the sides of the waist to keep them from wiggling side to side. Same with that spider here. We're not jumping that opposite side. We're keeping it lifted, keeping it tight, keeping hips square to the floor. What's your belly doing? Did you lose it? Stay with me, last 10 seconds. Exhale, with every lift, every squeeze. Beautiful, beautiful, three, two, and one. Whew. That one brings the sweat on. So final move crew, our bear plank. So go ahead and find that strain arm plank again. Replace your hands, shoulders are right over the wrist. Tuck the tail, find neutral spine. <sighs> Tuck the toes under. Here we go, 60 seconds, pop it up right here. <sighs> Beautiful. So, you guys remember this from yesterday. Spiral those elbows inward so you're internally rotating. <sighs> Elbow crease faces forward, pull the low belly in. <sighs> It's not sucking in, it's actively bracing like somebody who is about to come punch you and you're trying to brace your core to protect your organs, right? That's why your core braces, it protects everything on the inside. We're down to the last 20 seconds. <sighs> Option to maybe extend one leg, see what that does to you. Plan it back down, maybe extend that other leg. You were so close, last 10. We got four, three, two child's pose beautiful sink back into the hips take a deep breath in expand the rib cage the belly exhale pull it all in give me one more inhale exhale let it go one more time exhale let it go Slowly roll it up. Beautiful work, my friends. I am sweating. Wow, I told you guys we would progress. I told you. So I want to give you guys a little stretch before we go. Go ahead and point the heel of your hand forward. Both hands come to all fours and just press down into the heel of the hand, trying to spiral those hands the opposite direction. <sighs> Stretching our forearms, our wrists. Then go ahead and flex at the wrist here and go ahead and sink back into the hips only as far as that wrist mobility will allow you. So feeling a stretch down your forearms through your wrists, trying to keep obviously core engaged to keep pressure off your wrists, even though this is cool down. <laughs> and release it out, roll those wrists out. All right, you guys, take an inhale. Go ahead, grab that right wrist, take it overhead. Big side body stretch here. Those sexy spiders hit our obliques. Go ahead, let it go, opposite side. Lots of animal names. I love, love teaching core moves because there's a lot of animal names. <laughs> Whew. All right, crew, and go ahead, shoulder roll, deep breath in. Exhale it back, one more. Go ahead, roll it forward. Exhale, one more. Awesome job, you guys. You made it through day three. Looking forward to carving our course tomorrow for day four. Can't wait to see you guys. Let me know how you guys are feeling and please, again, Keep sharing, keep building the community that we already have. It has been so awesome to meet all of you guys and I will see you next time.